All right, so first thing is you got the pedals on the floor. You got the right pedal, which is your gas pedal. Left pedal is your brake pedal. You want to keep your heel on the floor and you want to pivot your foot back and forth gas to brake, okay? Um, steering wheel. Turn signals on your left. Push down to signal left and up to signal right. Now go to the middle position. Pull back just a little bit. That When that uh, control, not, not all the way back, let go. If you push it forward like you did, that turns the high beams on. So it was in the high beam position. So pull it back just to the neutral. There you go. Um, on that switch also is your headlights. See the outside end of it? So twist that. The first position is what? Headlights. Parking lights. Parking lights. Second position, low beam headlights. High beams, push forward. And you get a little blue light that tells you that the high beams are on. You can go ahead and turn all that off. So signal, push down to signal left. And push up to signal right. Go ahead and do that. So signal up gives you a right indicator light up there. Signal down left is the left indicator light there. Um, foot on the brake. When you start the car, always. You can go ahead and start it up. On the ignition switch, I'll just point this out. You have off and locked. First position is accessory. That powers up your radio. You can listen to the radio, whatever. Next position is the run position. This is the position that the key is in when the car is running. So you'll have various lights that light up right now. Like right now, we have, what are those two lights over there? Three lights. Brake. Brake, and what's these two? Top one's oil, right? Yeah, top one's oil. Because the engine's not producing any oil pressure. The car thinks that there's a problem with the engine. And then what's the other one? It looks like a little battery. Charge. Yeah, it's a charging light because the car is not producing any electricity. So it's running on the battery. If you run like this for very long, you'd run your battery dead. You can go ahead and start it up. So everything else comes alive. We got our, over on the left there, we have our temperature gauge. C is for cold, H is for hot. Obviously the red is bad. Don't overheat it. If it starts to climb unusually high, you gotta pull over and get the car shut off as soon as possible, okay? Tachometer on the left. We don't really use that for an automatic transmission. That's mostly for a manual. In a manual transmission, you generally shift between two and 3,000 RPM. They all also have a little light that comes on, like a little arrow light. It's called a shift light that tells you when you should shift the car. And that's for maximum fuel economy. Speedometer, those are in increments of uh, five. So five, 10, 15, 20. Check it occasionally. Make sure you're aware of how fast you're going. Get a sense of motion combined with uh, what your indicator is telling you, okay? Over here, we have our odometer. So this is the miles on the car since new. This is how we keep track of oil changes, vehicle maintenance, fuel economy, etc. And then on the left, we have, or on the right, we have uh, our fuel gauge. E is for empty and F is for full. Okay. Don't run out of gas. If you run out of gas, you know, you can get hit by a car, you get mugged, and if you're in a bad area, it can cause real problems, a real, real hazard. Horns in the center. Just a tap on the horn is generally all needed to get somebody's attention. Don't be afraid to use it. Um, these are your windshield wiper controls. If you pull towards you, it will clean the windows. Um, if you push down is the low. Next position is high, fast, and intermittent. Every car is going to have a different uh, windshield wiper control. Rear view mirror, you want to adjust that. So thumb on the bottom, fingers on top. You want to see squarely out the back window. There you go. Right here you have a night vision tab. So if the bright lights are in your eyes at night, you can flip that down and it'll deflect some of that light and uh, not blind you. Um, these are your emergency flashers. If you see an emergency or if you have an emergency or if you want to get people's attention for whatever reason, don't hesitate to use that. Okay? And there's indicator lights on the instrument panel indicating that those are on. Uh, this is your environmental control center. Uh, system controls. This controls your heater, AC, air, etc. So this would be your uh, directional control. This is pointing the air at your face, your face and feet, feet only, front windshield and feet, and uh, just the front windshield. So our defrost, if we say defrost position, we're talking about this position right here. And that'll clear off the window. Notice that with the um, in the defrost position, it will automatically turn the air conditioning on, although this car doesn't light up the light. A lot of cars, it'll light up the light, and you can't turn it off because in this position, the AC is on. Um, this is your fan control here, so how fast you want the air blowing at you. This is your rear window defrost, so if the back window is covered up, turn it on. Uh, air conditioner, this controls the temperature of the air. 
so if you want it cold or hot and even in the summertime if your AC is putting out a lot of extra cold air you can add a little bit of heat to it to warm it up <coughs> I didn't point this out this is your air recirculator so that will take the air that's inside the car and recycle it it's great for keeping the car really cool in the summertime when you need extra air conditioning but um, if it's raining or foggy it'll cause the windows to fog up but you'd use it on like a dusty road especially okay gear selector so to get it out of park you have to have your foot on the brake which you do i'll go and run through it uh p is for park r is for reverse neutrals here uh, dri uh, drive, you have a 3 and a D. Notice the 3 is on the left, the D is on the right. So we, our default gear is going to be the D, which is over here on the right. This would be your lower gears for downshifting. If you want to help slow the car down, you can downshift. If you're going up a steep hill or driving out in the country, you can select some of these different gears. The car will perform more like a manual shift transmission if you use these gears. Seldom would you ever use like a low one, maybe if you lost your brakes and you need to slow the car down, or if you're going down a really steep hill, you can use engine braking to help your regular braking. Parking brake, to set it, you just pull up a couple clicks. To release it, you pull up, push the button, and drop it back down. All right, any questions? Good. <clears throat>